Okay, in this video, what we'll do is we're going to go over the inventory inquiry screen. And it'll be a screen that you use often. And for this example, we're just going to use a, a scenario that will probably happen multiple times a day. And that would be either somebody in your branch asking you how many of a particular product do we have in stock or a customer calling and saying, hey, I need such and such product. How much do you have? Um, that will probably be the two scenarios that will happen most often. Um, and you can get to the inventory inquiry screen from a number of different locations. But I'm just going to show you how to get to it, uh, you know, from the menu screen real quick. So we're going to go to main menu. We're going to go to orders, just like we're going to sales order entry. And then we'll go down to inquiries. And you can see that we got a number of different inquiry screens here. And we're going to choose inventory inquiry. All right, so here's our inventory inquiry. So let's say a customer calls up and says, hey, I need a lot of uh, some F32 T8s. How many you got? So instead of going to create a sales order and typing in you know, 32 T8, and then from there trying to see, you can just pull up this inventory inquiry screen and type F32 T8. And this is the one I'm looking for that's in stock at my branch. So I'm going to choose that. And from here, I get an overview of the inventory availability for the entire company. We're in branch three. You can tell the customer, I got 434 of these in stock. I got plenty of them. If you need more, our distribution center has 960 with another almost 3,000 coming in on a PO. Uh, so this column right here will be your most important one. The PO means that uh, there's a PO out there for more to come in. A transfer, I don't mean to click on that transfer, means that you got some coming in on a transfer to your branch. Uh, that's what the transfer column is. So these, these are the three columns that you'll be most uh, concerned with. But obviously availability being the one uh, that was what you will be uh, looking at primarily. And I didn't mean to uh, switch up the screens, but I can obviously sort all these column headings by clicking on them and change the sort of how they show up. So that's one scenario. Let me just, uh, I want to clear out of this and go back into it real quick and just type that in again, F32 T8 and choose that one. So we have 434 and the customer says, okay, I want all of them. And you're like, well, you know, let me just make sure our inventory is correct. Uh, it should be, but let's just go back there and double check. But what if you say you don't know, you can't remember the location in the warehouse exactly where these are at. So you got some hot up here. I'm not, I'm not going to go over all these hotkeys, uh, but up here you can go to product location. You can also get to that by going to um, maintenance and then choosing product location from the menu. But if I choose product location, what it will do is it will take me out and um, show me exactly where that location is. And it's got 711C as location. So I can go out there and check and see how many I've got in stock. Now we could have some fun here. Whoops, let me undo that. And we could look into why. Sorry. So product location maintenance is telling me that I got 464, but my inventory inquiry is telling me I got 434. So you got to be careful with this. But the reason there's a difference, and I can tell you the reason because I've been in Eclipse enough to know what's going on here, we've got roughly 30 that are set aside for a customer. So how do you see that? Because you know you could have walked by and saw there was a lot of product on the shelf, and then you pulled up an inventory inquiry and they said you had a whole lot less. And you were like, well, I know I saw more back there. And it's probably because it's been tagged uh, or uh, committed to a customer. And so what we can do is you can do it from 
uh, product location maintenance, but you can also do it from um, from the inventory inquiry screen here. Is so I just closed out a product location. You know, from here I saw those six four hundred sixty four. This is showing four thirty four. I'm just going to click on that X. And I want to go to the future ledger. And what that future ledger is going to show you is, okay, show me everything that's out in the future uh, for this particular product for this branch. So I'm going to hit future ledger. And you can see that I'm still on branch three. And look at that. There's a sales order right there. It's on a call status for this customer. And there's 30 set aside for him. And that's where that 434 comes from. So when you go to your product location, it's, if you see see a difference, it's a good idea to go check your future ledger to see what's out there that may be set aside for a customer already. <clears throat> because the last thing that you want to do is um, say that well, I know I've got more on my shelf and I'm going to go and you know I got more on my shelf than what the system's saying and you didn't check the future ledger to see if it was for uh, set aside for a customer already and then you went ahead and gave it all to the customer and then the other customer comes in and says where's the 30 that I asked for and you're like whoops you know um, you can it's hard to do that but I, it's definitely something that could happen so that's the future ledgers for now I'll go over one other thing on here so we went over product location I showed you what future ledger does now we can go look at the history ledger and that's going to show me the history of this product and everything that's happened in the past for this particular product. So I go on the history ledger and it's still on branch three and as you can see there's a lot of uh, history here for this particular product. Um, so much, let's see if it can tell me, I may have uh, made this a little bit bigger. I'll hold my mouse over it. It doesn't even tell me how many line items it is. It's just a lot. Um, <clears throat> of uh, history here for this particular product. You can come up here to entity which basically means customer and you can type in a customer name and so let's just choose one, let's just do the one we've been doing for a while now, contractor cash and choose contractor cash and then it updates the history ledger and shows you the history of this particular product for that customer and how many of they bought. Uh, these are some returned right here. So you can see four in or four out, four back in, and sold 30, same thing again, so forth and so on. And that gives you the history for that particular customer. Now, the customer may say, okay, well, how much are they? Well, to keep you from having to go out there and choose a uh, uh, start a new sales order just to get a price. You could come up here to the selling price right here and you could get a quick glance at what the customer has been buying it at. And there's the, what the prices that the customer has been buying at right there. Um, and it should be the same for all the times that they've bought it. And there it is and you can tell them what the unit price is just from, from the uh, inventory history ledger screen. So We'll X out of that, it takes us back to the inventory inquiry. So from this little inventory inquiry screen, you can access a lot of important information to help you uh, look up stuff and get answers to things pretty quickly. Uh, there was one other thing I wanted to show you too. So uh, if you just that on the product location screen, once again, it had the, the difference um, right there. You could just, uh, I told you that you could click on future ledger to go see, you know, what was out there. Uh, in the future and there's the 30 right there but I forgot to point out also on the history ledger screen if you look up here in the top right hand corner it shows your on hand availability and then it shows committed you got 30 committed right there and that's where you can get that uh, the difference in products right there too so it's showing you the total that you have but then you got 30 committed there as well so that's just another place that you can look up here in the top right hand corner on the inventory history ledger screen uh, <clears throat> so very powerful uh, tool in Eclipse you'll use it on a daily basis and I basically went over the three most important uh, features on the inventory inquiry screen which is a future ledger the history ledger 
and product location. Thank you.